Well, you guys, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year to everyone who watches my videos. It's been a pleasure making videos for you in 2014. Unfortunately, my health wasn't that great and uh, I hope that will improve in 2015. But I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel and following me and uh, supporting me along the way. It's been fantastic making videos and helping you guys as much as I can. I get a lot of pleasure out of it. So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is uh, creating a multi-boot uh, USB Windows installer. And you can also bung in a few tools in there as well if you want to. Uh, it's a great tool for uh, PC technicians or PC repair guys that do some sort of uh, repair work and also install Windows and need uh, access to, uh, to a lot of tools. And you can use this one flash drive that's going to be doing this uh, job for you. Now, thankfully, uh, a guy called Steve has actually created a tool that makes this a lot easier. Now you can get these uh, from these websites. He's got two websites, one called rmprepusb.com. This is the tool you've seen me use before. It's an awesome bit of kit and it really does uh, do some good stuff. It's also packed with tutorials and stuff on there. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, me blabbering on about stuff. Go to his website, have a look, have a good read up on there. He's got some good stuff on there. He's also got a YouTube channel and uh, also he's got some donate here to help him continue doing his work. Now, the other part you're going to need is the easy to boot. OK, now you can go to easy to boot dot com and uh, this is also owned by Steve. And it's another part of a project that he's doing that helps you to build all these multi boot uh, USB flash drives with all your tools on it. It makes life so much easier as you'll see. He's also got some videos on there as well. Uh, so you want to check those out, head over to his channel. But you are going to need to download these uh, two items, okay? Easy to boot and also RM Prep USB. Once you've got those, as we've got them on our uh, desktop here, what we're going to do is install these. So we're just going to install RM Prep USB. Now again, these are totally safe to install. Uh, they're not going to harm your PC in any way. Just be very, very careful when using them, and when you're if you've got USB flash drives or USB drives plugged in, okay? Because you want to make sure you're selecting the right one. So this will start to detect stuff, as you can see here, and you can see it's starting to detect drives. Now it has detected my scan disk, 32 gigabyte drive, and that's the one that I want to use, okay? So just be very careful that you you are got the right drive there. I don't want you formatting your the wrong drive, okay? Now we want to extract our easy to boot to a folder on our desktop. Now you can use 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever floats your boat really, but just extract these on into a folder that's on your desktop. The desktop as you can see here. And I'll just pull these over so you can see them. Okay. I'm not going to get too much into what they are and what they do. They just basically make life a lot easier when you're trying to uh, create uh, USB flash drives with all uh, tools on them. So you can boot to them. OK, now there's other tools out there you can use also. But I would suggest if for Windows and stuff like that, this is probably your best bet. OK, so now we've got our drive plugged in, as you can see here. Here is our drive, our 32 gig uh, flash drive and you can get these in PC world at the moment for 15 quid which is pretty cheap for the ultra fast version of a USB 3.0 so once we've got that done what we want to do is go into the ISO folder and once we're in here we need to go into where it says docs and then go to make uh, easy to boot USB drive in there and you will see a CMD file here which is your back file you can look in there and uh, right click on this and run this as administrator that's important you need to run that as administrator click yes and then this box will open up okay now you can see here you've got to be very very careful here you can see it's detected my two drives my uh, my passport drive which is my Western Digital uh, two terabyte drive now you want to be careful that you select the right drive here. Do not select that wrong drive. If you've got other drives plugged in, you may want to unplug them just to be safe. Uh, but I'm going to be selecting drive uh, number three. You can see it's example two or three or whatever 
drives you got plugged in so we're going to make sure we say free here and push enter now once we got that done it will say warning all partitions and drives will be formatted and basically wiped so we're going to say yes why for yes now it wants to format the drive okay now you obviously we've got over four gigabytes so we're going to make this an NTFS drive so we're going to put N here and then push enter and it will say are you sure and you can see it says the scan disk ultra we're going to say okay here and let that do its thing okay it's going to take a bit of time just let it let it work away it's going to wipe that and then copy all the files over Okay, it's completed the uh, format now, and now it's going to start to copy all these files over, okay, to the G drive. Okay, so that's now all complete. As you can see here, once that's finished installing the Grub for DOS and uh, all the other types of uh, content, it also copy all the files over. And we'll have a look at that right now. So we can now close this off. So now we can take a look at that drive. Now you can see it's been uh, named easy to boot but that's what I'm leaving in there that's what it's copied across okay so now we can go into our ISO folder and you can see there's an array of folders in here we're gonna take a look inside our main menu inside here we can put in some ISO files if we wish like um, like puppy Linux uh, Ubuntu and that sort of good stuff in there and you can see we've got some other folders here we've got a windows uh, folder inside here will be where all your windows uh, iso files will go okay and these listed them out here to make it nice and easy for you but we're just going to basically go ahead and put the isos in these folders this will be where you put your winpe uh, file okay so let me just get some files ready and we'll copy these across okay so now I've got all my ISO files on the left hand side here as you can see and these are the ISOs that I'm going to be using to put into my uh, USB flash drive so what we're going to do here first is go into the ISO area and then go into the main menu inside your main menu here we're going to be putting in puppy Linux so I'm just going to copy this and then paste this over here and that will put that across onto my USB flash drive. Now we can put in some WinPE as well. So what I'm going to do here is come down to where it says my WinPE version. And I'm just going to paste that into there as well. So once we've done that, we can go back. And then we can go into our Windows folder inside here we can put in all our windows versions so first off we'll start with xp and uh, we'll just come down to where it says xp i'm going to paste that in there go back and then go into windows 8 and if you've got your windows 8 ones you want to copy you can put those in and this is going to create our multi-boot Windows uh, USB installer now you can put as many versions as you like here you don't have to just do what I'm doing you can put as many versions of Windows as you like okay that's the 8 done so we can go back here to Windows go into 7 and then do our Windows 7 now this does take a bit of time and don't worry about the uh, actual name of these you, I'll do another video on this and I think Steve's done one you can actually rename these to make them look much more nicer on the menu system okay we're just going to go back and do Vista now again you can add the 32 bit or 64 bit or both okay so we've done those and uh, what we can do now is go back to our folder here and then go into antivirus here and we're just going to copy in just one 
ISO here, which is going to be Dr. Web. But you can put Kaspersky and all that good stuff in there. And once that's been completed, I'm going to go back to the main menu here. And inside here, I just wanted to show you something here which is important. We're going to put ERD, which is uh, MS Dart. Now you can put all the versions in here and just copy those in. Now you can't just download these, you have to create these yourself. Okay. Okay, that's now copied across. Now the important part here is that we need to change the uh, extension for this. So you can see it says uh, .iso. If you can't see the extension, you can actually show the extension by going here and taking the tick out of hide extensions for known file types. Once you're there, you can uh, rename this. And what you need to do here is put PE01. And that will recognize that file and work okay that's the way it's been set up okay so that's now all complete so now what we need to do now is make all the files contiguous so we want to go to rm prep usb open that up and once we've opened this up you want to look for the drive here you can see it's make sure it's on your drive that you've just created go to drive and then make all files on drive contiguous that's important otherwise you're going to end up with errors and you should see down here saying okay all files on drive are now contiguous now we can test this now so we're just going to quickly test and have a look and there we have it so you can see here now we have got our ERD which is our uh, version there we've got puppy Linux and also we can go into our antivirus menu if we wish and we've also got our Windows install menu you can see there's four versions in there you can see so we'll take a look at um, as you can see here there we have dr. webs so I'll push f8 to go back so let's just take a look at the uh, WinPE or Windows so you can see you've got all your windows that we've put on there okay so you can see one present Vista 7 8 and so on so I'm gonna go back and we'll go down to WinPE and there you have your WinPE. Now these are all customizable, you can change names on these and stuff like that, but we can cover that in another video. So that's basically about it. That's how you can create your own multi-boot USB flash drive with all your tools and Windows installers on it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these videos. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. And also, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the uh, Brightech forums and post on there, and we'll do our best to help you out over there. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.